Well, hundreds of dead dolphins suddenly washing up on eastern shores. Experts say they do not know why. And government scientists declaring this as a, quote, unusual mortality event as they investigated a deadly virus um, as the potential culprit. Brian Yenis is following this story. He joins us live in New York. So, Brian, what's going on here? Hi, Greg. Yeah, it's unusual and mysterious. More than 250 bottlenose dolphins have washed ashore on beaches up and down the East Coast this summer. That's 10 times, 10 times the average for this time of year. And now scientists say a virus may be to blame. It's already the largest dolphin die off since 1987 when more than 740 animals died. And scientists expect the number of deaths to rise. Scenes like this are becoming all too familiar. Dead dolphins shocking beachgoers from the New Jersey shore down to Norfolk. Virginia. Normally they just swim up and down the shore, close to the shore. But all of a sudden, you know, we just started seeing them on the beach, all up and down the beach. They dying on the beaches like that is something very wrong. Something is very wrong. And you know, I hope they find out soon. In July and August, 253 dead bottlenose dolphins have washed along a shore along the East Coast, 143 in Virginia, 64 in New Jersey, and 25 in New York. Scientists performing necropsies on the dead dolphins now believe the more Billy virus may be, to bl may be to blame. It's similar to the measles in humans. Dolphins are very cohesive groups um, of animals. Um, they're very social with each other within their groups that they travel in. And so a lot of um, diseases probably pass between um, each other through that close contact. Um, you know, I like to use the analogy of colds, you know, in humans. Now, scientists say if you see an animal on the beach, remain a safe distance away. There are no cases of the morbidly virus transmitting to humans, but marine mammals carry a lot of different diseases. Greg? 253 deaths. That's a, that's a shame. It is All a right. Shame. Brian Yannis, thanks very much, Brian.